On Monday, September 16th, Pikeville Fire Department and Pikeville Medical Center conducted a mock drill for the Safe Haven Baby Box drop-off. After being introduced to the public last week, members of the fire department are now training for what happens when someone relinquishes a child they cannot care for. The procedure is safe and timely, which is what PMC and the fire department are aiming for. So our role here at the emergency room is we'll get the call from the Pikeville City Fire Department. We'll go ahead and have a room set up here in the ER uh, to assess the baby. We'll call CPS and they'll come and take the baby from there. It is an emotional type of patient. You know, we're a pediatric ready emergency room, so all of our staff is trained to take care of patients like that. We have a panda warmer in the department to use uh, to help take care of the baby. We also have a uh, next gen incubator transport that we can use if the patient needs to be transferred to another facility. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Once the child has been evaluated at PMC, they are then placed into the custody of Child Protective Services. From there, they'll be moved into a new home where they can receive proper care. Once those doors open, there will be an alarm that goes off and goes to our dispatch center. And like I mentioned, once that baby is inside that box, there's a minute that there's an alarm that goes off to let our guys know if they're inside the station that there is a baby inside that box. Uh, minutes is critical in the emergency field. You know, at the ER or out in the field for us, minutes can save a life. Uh, as soon as we get to the baby, uh, within two minutes, we should have a dispatched out to our guys and say, hey, there is a baby that's been dropped off. And like I mentioned, you know, you never know what's going on with that child before it got dropped off but we're hoping and praying that is the best outcome for, for everybody in that situation. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.